separate investigative investigation into the Fukushima meltdown has heard from a former U.S. nuclear regulatory chief. Richard Murs told the parliamentary panel that an on-site experts should have the power to decide how to respond to an emergency situation at a plant. The former U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission chairman says there is still a lack of trust for the Japanese government and nuclear authorities, stemming from how they dealt with the accident. In my view, the only way to correct that is to have the public have access to the information and know what's happening and why it's happening and have the confidence that decisions are being made on a proper basis. Meserv says it is important for nuclear regulatory organizations to be free from political intervention and independent of a power company. He adds regulatory body must listen to the public and maintain a high level of openness and transparency. Former Prime Minister Naoto Kan ordered Tokyo Electric Power Company to begin emergency procedures during the Fukushima accident. Meserv said it would be unthinkable in his country for that to be decided by the president rather than on-site experts. An independent panel says then-Prime Minister Naoto Kan did not know of a tool that might have helped in the aftermath of the March 11th disaster. Speedy is a computer system that can predict the spread of radioactive materials. Panel members say Khan and those around him did not know it even existed. The six-member panel of experts is expected to issue its report on the disaster during the day. The report says Khan and four other politicians blame science ministry officials for not informing them about Speedy. The government developed the system with a budget of 12 billion yen or roughly 150 million U.S. dollars. Former Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano said he found out about the system in a media report several days after the disaster. At the time, the plant's number two reactor was spewing radioactive materials. Edano said bureaucrats told him later that they had decided not to inform him about Speedy because its calculations were not credible. They cited a lack of precise data on radiation. The panel charges in its report that Speedy was used as a tool to assure local residents about the safety of nuclear power and to obtain their consent to build the plant. The report also says the system should have been used more effectively to reduce residents' exposure to radiation as much as possible. An independent investigative panel report says members of Japan's cabinet braced for an evacuation of Tokyo after the Fukushima nuclear accident. The six-member expert panel is to issue a report on Tuesday based on interviews with 300 Japanese and U.S. government officials and others about their responses to the accident on March 11th last year. The report says the chief of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant informed the government three days after the accident that nuclear fuel rods there could melt, melt because of cooling system failures. The information was reportedly sent to cabinet members and nuclear experts. Economy Minister Yuki Edano was the chief cabinet secretary at the time and served as the government's spokesperson. Edano says in the report that in the worst case scenario, if the fuel rods continue to be exposed to the air, a large dose of radioactive material could have been released and prevented workers from entering reactor buildings. Edano says he feared that problems could also occur at another nuclear plant in Fukushima and that Tokyo might have to be evacuated. He adds, the cabinet was told of this scenario, but the government chose not to make it public. The report stresses the need for discussions on information disclosure by the government during emergencies.